Okay, baby, it's KJM, and I am back with another Miracles of Christmas premiere for the 2022 season, all right? So last night at 10 p.m., Time for Him to Come Home for Christmas premiered, starring Tyler Hines and Holland Rodden. Now, let me just tell you something. The Time for Him to Come Home, the Time to Come Home movies, I generally fall asleep you know, on. I know that they're connected to Blake Shelton and I think his mom. Um, but you know, the time for us to come home, them to come home, me to come home, you to come home, now him to come home. Baby, I usually get a, a good nap during these movies. But since I'm now doing reviews for you guys, I watched it extra early this morning so that I could really get some feels for it. Okay. Also starring in this movie is Steve Bassick as Carter. He's the man that ends up leaving the voicemail. And um, remember I was talking in uh, yesterday's review about my favorite mom on these shows, on these Hallmark movies? I think her name is Karen Cooper. She was the mom in Hashtag Christmas, and she played Elizabeth's mom in this movie, Elizabeth, a.k.a. Holland. All right, let's get into it. When this movie starts off, there's a man that leaves a voicemail accidentally on Elizabeth's phone. When Elizabeth gets a voicemail, this man is pouring out his heart. He wants to meet the love of his life at their place on Christmas Eve. Elizabeth realizes how important this message is and she starts on this journey to find this man that we later find out his name is Carter. Prior to getting the voicemail, we see a couple, three years ago, we see a Christmas with three best friends, Elizabeth, um, Josh, which is played by Tyler Hines, and then Andrew, a third best friend. That night, we see Elizabeth confess her love for someone, and she's telling Andrew. Josh overhears it because he already got feelings for her. He thought she was saying she had feelings for Andrew. So Josh leaves this Christmas party early. He was supposed to be Lizzie's ride. Because he wasn't Lizzie's ride, Andrew ends up taking Lizzie home or attempts to. And in that process, they get into a car accident where Elizabeth survives, but Andrew dies. Because of this, Elizabeth has this deep grief and guilt about that night because she felt like Andrew wouldn't have been on the road if it wasn't for her. And then Josh, he moved across the country because he couldn't deal with the death of Andrew. Baby, there was so much going on in this movie. I can't pack it into one review. So y'all stay tuned for the second review. I'm giving this movie a 9 out of 10. And I'm really surprised that time for him to come home for Christmas is getting a 9 out of 10. But yes, it is, baby.